Hello, today we are going to talk about Mendeley desktop application which allows you to manage your references in your research work quite efficiently. This is especially useful for say research students or researchers who are struggling with their citations and references in their research papers. So you could consider a situation where you have say tens or hundreds of references in your computer in PDF files and you're manually adding them to your research papers. Well, there are a lot of tools that can automate or make that task easier for you and can manage those references, can update the reference numbers and so on. And today we are going to have a look at one of those tools called Mendeley Desktop, which I personally use in my research work. Um, this reference manager especially is useful when you want to edit a document, you want to add a reference or a citation in the middle of the text, you want to remove something or you want to change citation style those things are then automatically managed by the reference manager and you don't need to update the references manually. So let's have a look at how you or where you find this Mendeley desktop. So you go to Google and just go to Mendeley desktop and it should provide you direct link to download it. I've already downloaded and installed it so just follow these instructions. I'm using Linux but there are also versions for Windows for Mac and so on. So uh, one cool thing about this, if you are using multiple computers, then one account is synchronized between multiple computers, so you have the references available in everywhere. So that's one of the, the strengths of this application. But after you, you download it, you and install it, then you see a window like this when you start it, you need to log in. And to log in, of course, you need an account first, click register, it takes you to a website where you can join it. Uh, now, I'm not going to show you how to do this because I've already done it, but it's fairly straightforward. Just fill in the fields, click next a few times, and then you're done. And once you have the account, then you can log in. It takes a moment. Um, but it, it by default it shows this kind of um, a window for um, kind of a welcome screen. You can opt not to show it anymore, which I do. And then it, it shows for the first time a couple of these uh, instructions, uh, how to add new references and how to organize them. So basically the, the UI is pretty easy. Uh, on the left side you have the navigation pane where you have all the folders and all the documents, links that you can view. And when you select one of them, then in the middle you can see the documents related to that particular folder. And once you select one of the references in the middle, you can see the details here, which we can edit. Now, I don't have any references here, so there are a few ways that you can add. So I'm going to show you first how to add one manually. So you go to um, File, Add Entry Manually. Then you can choose what kind of um, reference you want to add there. So there are a lot of different things uh, from journal articles, conference proceedings, etc., etc. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to select this journal article, and well, I I could select actual journal article. I'm going to write something, make up here, a study on reference management. The author is J. Smith and K. Jones. Okay, and journal, journal of Reference Studies, year 2017, volume 4, issue 1, for example. And then you can also put the page numbers. There are also many other fields that you can fill, but those are usually the, um, the essential ones. And if you have a URL you want to add, if your paper is, is behind a URL, you can add it here. And things like DOI, Digital Object Identifier, which is pretty useful to identify and find the document later, you can also update. But say this is done, I save it, and now you can see the references added here. And you can edit the fields. If, if you made a mistake or if you want to add something more, you can you can just edit here and it will be saved. Now, there are also other ways to add. So say I'm going to 
find now article online. Maybe uh, I'm going to scholar.google.com for finding scholarly articles. If you don't know, this website is very, very useful if you are doing research work. So let's say I'm going to find something about exer gaming. It's exercise gaming, games for exercise. So let's say um, this article, for example. Most of the scientific papers have DOI or DOI reference. Let's see if this one has. Oh, here it is. So you can get this DOI. It's a unique identifier for this document. And now we can add a new one by this DOI. Again, entry manually. Go to the DOI field. Paste it. And then, oh, did I paste twice? Yes. And then click this magnifier, lookup icon. It will try to find this paper and fill in the fields. Now, word of caution, these fields may not be perfectly filled in. So you may, may have to go back to the website, just double check that everything is correct. So maybe the journal name is correct, or maybe this is, uh, sometimes the type is incorrect. It could be a conference article, even though it's actually a journal. Uh, maybe the pages are missing issues, missing volume, is missing something like that. Here things seem okay, but always do double check just in case. And now, now that's another way, easy way to add an article. Now there is a, a third way. Say you have a, a bunch of PDF files on your computer. Um, say here I have a, a collection of, of articles related to exercise gaming. So I want to add these. I can add one paper or many papers just by selecting some, dragging them and dropping them here. Mendeley will add them and you can see that the link to the PDF file is also available and you can view the PDF file here. And now when you add these by PDF, again, remember to check that everything is correct. For example, this one, it tries to extract information from the PDF. The authors, it usually gets correct. But for example, here, there is nothing about journal, there is nothing about volume issue, so those you have to do manually. So for example here, you can see that this one is, uh, this is the uh, journal name, volume 8, number 4, you can see them here, and these are the pages. And you can also double check the authors, that they are correct. And once you are done, next time you go there you have this information updated. So always double check all these links. Okay, then uh, a third way of doing it, say you have existing database, you're using another reference manager or you have say a uh, LaTeX BibTeX database, you can import databases as well. So go to import and select what you want to import and then it will import all the references here to the same place. It's very useful. Um, well, that's, that's all about importing references and setting up this tool. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually use these references in your LibreOffice or Word document to write scientific text. Thanks for watching.